my name is Leanne Miller, and with me today is Courtney Chambers and Jessica Dreheim, my partners in crime. Each week, we take your questions through email and Facebook from real people like you and I about weight loss struggles. We've spoken to thousands of you while helping you cut through the crap. So today, our question comes from Ashley in California, and she says, how often can I have a cheat meal? Mm. The hard part about that is most people really don't understand how many cheat meals they're having. They don't understand that yogurt or whole wheat is a cheat meal. And I know it depends on your size and your weight, but it's still a cheat meal. It's still not good for you. No, absolutely. It, it, eventually, every cheat meal is a setback in some form, form or way. But realistically, are women going to have cheat meals regardless of what we think or what we say? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. If you tell me right now that I need to cut sugar and chocolate and cake and sweets out of my diet, I will say, it's, it's, uh, it's going to happen. Exactly. We've got to be realistic here. Yes, we do. And, you know, just keep in mind uh, that every cheat meal you do have is, but it's about making that choice about the cheat meal, how it's made or where it comes well, from. Well, and what we talk yeah. about is that you can try to get in this routine. You can say, I'm only going to have a cheat meal once a week. Just don't let yourself creep up because yeah. most people, when they do that, they'll turn that cheat meal once every two weeks into a cheat meal every other day. And, and don't they, do that. They get defensive about it. They get so defensive oh, about yes. it. Well, they don't believe that what they're having is a cheat meal. Yes. They, they, they think it's healthy. Yeah. They, and, well, and some women, we have put up in our minds, we think we have to have this for so many different reasons. Everybody out there is different. You know, motivation is a bigger factor. What you really do. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, I used to smoke all the time. I used to smoke when I was in college a lot. And what I've learned is that you don't want it once you give it up. And it's the same thing with food. If you stop eating junk, if you stop eating sugar for three weeks, sugar will taste repulsive to you. It's the same thing. You're addicted to it. And once you detach your body of it, it will be gone and you will want it less. Like now, if I have a piece of chocolate that's really, really sweet, it makes me pucker. I'm like, oh, oh, great point. Great point. Give give us two weeks to help you out, eat our foods, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. In two weeks, you're going to eat that. For me, my favorite thing is water burger and I can taste all the salt on it. So I don't want it anymore. What's all the chemicals, the fillers, everything. And, and that's with sweets as well. Just not what that's just that's just for me. But you know, um, you it's know. like detoxifying. You know, once you get off of it, it just doesn't taste the same if you try it again. Exactly. But well, you feel like junk. You, yeah, you, you do. Feel like junk. Yeah. But, and we already talked. We already talked about it before. You can have that five minutes of pleasure, but is it really worth the after effects that last two, three, four days, five days a week? It's not worth the minimal satisfaction that exactly. you get. Exactly. But it's the awareness. Overall, we need to have awareness of how it's going to affect. It. Each and one. So if that's something you want to do, that's your personal choice. But be aware of how it's going to affect you long term. Yeah, you need to you need to gauge your own cheat meals. You need yes. to know that if you do have something bad, how is it going to affect you? Because some people can't do it at all. Some people, if they have a cheat meal, they will revert back to the way they were before. So never have it. Control yourself. But you need to get it right for you. And if it means not doing it, you might not even want it. To sum it up, I think there's um, consequences for your actions. Um, you know, think about it like that. I mean, you it will set you back if you do cheat. Um, but that. That is still a very, very great question. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and email us at rearview at personaltrainerfood.com. Keep those questions coming because, you know, this is real. This is what you are thinking about, and we really want to know. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.